Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. New York, you can vote. New York Independence, you can vote today in the New York primary. Today is Tuesday, April uh, 19th, 2016. It is now 7.39 a.m. Most polls open either at 6 a.m., 7 a.m., or 8 a.m. Anyways, most polls will be open. Some polls are open at noon because governors want to suppress the vote. But don't worry, noon to 8, the polls are open. You can go vote. And by law, this is another one. You have two hours by law. Your employer needs to let you go vote two hours paid or unpaid. I don't know, but I think it was paid. doesn't matter. By law, if you're working today, you get two hours to go vote. Okay, you get two hours to leave your place, go to your town, and vote. Independents can vote. Unenrolled can vote. Okay, this is what you do. It's a closed primary, but there's a lawsuit that's being filed as we speak at 9 a.m., they will go before the New York Elections Board, okay, the people that are filing this lawsuit. I don't know exactly who they are, but they're filing a lawsuit. There will be protesters outside of this hearing. It'll probably be New York, New York City somewhere or Albany, because Albany's the capital, and they are filing this lawsuit, okay? Now, what this lawsuit means is they're trying to get the New York primaries to be open, and what that means is that you don't need to be registered as a Republican or a Democrat, you just need to be registered. Okay, so if you were registered as an independent or even a Republican in the last election or even, you know, a Green Party, let's say you just registered Green Party and you're still in there as a Green Party and you didn't get to, you know, October to change your thing in time. Well, you can vote. You can vote. So if you didn't change your status to Democrat, you can vote for Bernie. 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 Don't vote for Trump. Please. Please, for the love of God, don't vote for Trump. Okay, he's already winning by 50% in New York. He's already a huge embarrassment to the United States of America. He is basically, someone said it really great. You know, he's like a Star Wars character. He works for the dark side. Okay, and we work for the force. For the force, yes. We, we work for the good side. Bernie's the good. Okay, Trump is the bad. And if you haven't seen that yet, then you really need to open up your eyes because God's made it super clear that Bernie and Trump are basically the battle between good and evil. I mean, it couldn't be more. I mean, they're so much alike in the sense that they're from New York. They both say huge. Okay, but they're so different. They're like polar opposites. They're like polar opposites. David and Goliath. Trump is Goliath. Bernie is David. Okay, it, if you don't see that, please just listen to my video. Go, just pray about it. Think about it. You don't need to pray about it. You don't even need to be a Christian or a godly person. You don't. You just need to use your brain and realize, wow, there's some coincidences in this election. How is that? Let me just tell you that nothing's a coincidence, okay? And everything happens for a reason. And if you were to go to the Bible right now and you were to read Revelation 14, you would see, like, you would see Revelation being played out right now. Because God's put that on my heart, and I've seen it, and it's incredible. And it's incredible. And I tell you, if you want to read Revelation 14, I believe it's 14.7, um, but I could be wrong. But I digress. <sighs> vote today. Just vote. Because this is going to be, like, this is an exciting election. Like, I'm so excited. I, want, I live in Massachusetts. I want to drive three or four hours or five hours or even care. And I want to go campaign and I want to tell people that you can vote. Like, I want to go up to every single person I meet and I want to say, you can vote for Bernie. Okay, so go to your, your office. As long as you're registered, you have to remember you're registered. You have to be registered. And even if you're not registered, you know, get an absentee ballot. I don't know how soon you have to send those in. But anyway, just vote today with a provisional ballot. It's called provisional ballot by law. They need to give you a provisional ballot, even if you're registered as whatever you're registered as. You have to be registered, though. So, anyways, Democrat, Republican, Independent, unenrolled, go vote. Don't worry that it's a closed primary. Vote. Just go vote. Tell all your friends to go vote. This is the New York primary. This is 247 delegates at stake. That's 247 delegates. Bernie is behind Hillary by only 200 delegates. Okay, the numbers, the media, they won't tell you the real numbers. I just read an article in uncut.com on uncut, US uncut, which is a great place to get your news. US uncut.com. Just remember that US uncut.com. Um, 
and I just read it there. Huffington Post has been pretty good too, but they're still mainstream. I would go with Uncut and go get your news there. Go to Twitter and get your news. You know, go to the Facebook pages that, that are following Bernie to get your news. Just go get your news somewhere other than the television screen, the newspaper, or the radio. Because they, that's the mainstream media, and they work for the machine, okay? They work for the dark side, okay? So I'm telling you, please, please, if you're in New York, if you know someone in New York, get out and vote. Just get out and vote for Bernie. And if you know that your friends are Trump supporters, don't tell them about this lawsuit. We don't need more Trump votes. We really don't. Okay, Trump is an embarrassment to our country. All right? And Trump is showing the world where our priorities are. Okay? The people that vote for Trump care more about money than people. The people that vote for Bernie care more about people than money. And we all know that money is important. You know, we all know we need money to live. But we should put people above money. We should put human lives, uh, uh, our, our planet, everything should be above money, okay? You have to understand that Trump has put money above people, and Bernie has put people above money, and that's the major difference, you know? And sure, you know, you might not agree with all of Bernie's policies. I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very, very, I love Jesus, and I, I love babies. I just had a baby, and I would never want to, to kill an unborn baby. You know, but I've heard Bernie's stance, and he's more about caring for the woman in her circumstance than anything else. And he's not a Christian, so I give him the discount. Like, he's, he doesn't know Jesus like I know Jesus. You know, he doesn't know God the way that we know God as Christians, you know? Trump's not a Christian. Trump gives Jesus a bad name. Let's just be honest, Okay. Jesus would never say the things that, that Trump says on national TV for the world to hear. A Christian, a true Christian would never say that. And Christians that follow Trump are lost. They're lost. They're uneducated. They're blind. They're, they're really just lost souls. You know, I know, I know. I have family members that follow Trump, that voted for Trump. Okay? Like... I, I don't I don't want to hate the Trump people. I really don't. Like, I want them to know the truth. Like, I want them to know the truth. That Trump is being used by God as the bad guy, and Bernie's the good guy. And, it's an, and, and I'm telling you, they're going to go to the general election. Trump will be the nominee, as much as I don't want him to be. You know, and even if the Republicans, you know, and of course, you know, the Republicans are trying everything they can, but Trump's going to be the nominee. Okay? And... It's an embarrassment. It's a national embarrassment. It basically opens up our eyes to see that we, where our priorities are, that we care more about, you know, hating people that are different from us and um, money, really. We care more about money than we care about people and the planet. So anyways, please just spread this message, spread this breaking news. I hope this video helped you understand. I hope I didn't ramble too much. Thank you and go vote today so Bernie wins in Jesus name amen